Hi, this is Crime and Partner, and welcome back to Let's Play Valkyrie Profile. Now, surprise, surprise, we're still in the Seraphic Gate, but right now we're actually right before an optional boss that you can only reach with the Flame Jewel. Now, I really don't need to do any kind of preparation for this fight because Shiho, with her new wand, will pretty much win this fight for me in one turn. So, anyway, on that note, let's uh, see who it is. And what do you know? It's Lazard Villeth. What's that freak doing here? I love those names he's called, especially the, the dirty old man. I mean, who calls him that? Yeah, we'll see about that one. Anyway, so they play this wonky battle music and we fight Lazard and Two Eyes. Pretty much the eyes are what make this fight difficult. And even then, it's not really that bad. Valkyrie, grant me power! Finishing strike! Round rip saber! Damn it all! In the name of my lord! Earmuffs, Lucian, come on! Strike. Eternal raid! Such is your fit. And Shio will finish it off with the Celestial Star. Must desire respite from thy empty existence. Thou shall have it! Celestial Star! Oh man, that's so much damage. Anyway, as you can tell, Evil has no place that, uh, that new wand does a little bit of damage. No, I this. And Lazard Valeth has been defeated in one turn. You have served me well, my Einherjar. Not that bad of experience either. You know, I, and I got a pretty decent amount of magic gems considering <laughs> doing that just one turn. And you'll notice for the treasure, Lazard gave me a Glance Reviver. You may remember this is actually the sword Leneth used against Loki in the A ending. Go together? Does that mean what I think it means? Why, yes it does. Lazard Veleth has joined our team for the bonus dungeon. Now you'll notice he is level 30, which kind of is a bad thing about him. Because, you know, starting at level 1, then I have all those levels to use the bracelets of Zoe. But with him at level 30, his health is actually not that high. And he actually would not be able to hit the max health, uh, 90,000 even with bracelets of Zoe. That's where the Ambrosias uh, come in. Now he is a male so he cannot use you know certain mage items like the earrings or the robe of retain but you know really at this point it doesn't matter that much. I mean he, he's Lizard Veleth. That in itself makes him awesome. Now his spells as you can see are really not that good so you would want to change up his spells considerably. Now I also did get the Glance Reviver uh, you'll remember this thing is 6,000 attack power, but as you'll see, it also kills enemies weak to death. But if you look at the description, anytime you make an attack, you have an 8% chance of instant killing the enemy and gaining health equal to you know their max health. Now, for someone like Lucian, whose you know shining bolt attack hits you know 12 or 13 times, this is awesome. He will instant kill so many enemies with this thing. Um, Jail really isn't that bad either if you do her finisher, the, the Eternal Raid, that hits a lot of times also. But really, Lucian was born to be using Glance Reviver. So we're going to go ahead and give that to him. Uh, but yeah, I'll take care of it. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and use Lazard now in place of Shiho just because Lazard's cool. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of time to uh, change out the, the mage equipment 
and distribute capacity points so I will be right back okay so I also gave Valkyrie the dimension slip because truth be told most of the enemies in the upcoming area are pretty worthless to fight they don't really drop anything and the few that do they all drop lapis lazulis for whatever crazy reason um, I also taught Lazard Valette the new batch of spells because the ones he starts with are really not that good you also notice that I am now am now above the, the little chain area with all the exploding chests uh, before I drop down below but this time we're gonna keep going forward now and we get the worthless scout orb basically you have a better chance of getting the first strike but really you should be slashing enemies with your sword almost every time so it, it really is kind of worthless. And yep, we still have more golden eggs to obtain. They do not stop dropping. And here we're going to use our fourth flame jewel. Alright, now this chest is actually guarded by an enemy, so I guess I do get to uh, demonstrate one fight for you. Alright, now these guys are larvae. They have no real weaknesses in particular, and they've actually got pretty decent health. So for this fight, I want to go ahead and do a Might Reinforce. Just help to up my damage a bit. Now I'm not being very lucky. I was expecting Lucian's Glance Reviver to instant kill at least one of these guys. Oh, there we go. A single blow from me is death. So yeah, that's what happens. It's a pretty sweet weapon, actually. It's a shame it doesn't work on bosses, but that would probably be a little bit uh, broken if if you could kill a boss instantly like that. And one last uh, to go. Oh man, Lucian killed them all with that thing. That's so sick. Get thee hence. Oblivion awaits thee. All right, so I'll be right back as I use those uh, points really quick. And so what do I get for all my hard work? Why yes, it's a golden egg! <laughs> like I don't have enough of those things. And we get the Ethereal Divide, the best spear in the game. And the Holy Wand of Tylos, which is actually the highest uh, magic attack power uh, wand in the game. Now, sad thing about the Ethereal Divide, where is it offer? This thing has 3,300 attack power and 3 hits, but still, 3,300. I mean, come on, that Glance Reviver was 6,000. Uh, you know, the Razor Shaft was 3,000. I mean, it, and this just reemphasizes the point that, really, if you're not a sword wielder, y you get the Shaft just because the itemization is just really poor. Now, as far as the... Holy Wand of Telos. This thing actually has a higher magic attack than the Wand's Mystic Sage, but this thing will not use uh, great magic attacks. So, you know, maybe for regular fights it's pretty good, but generally speaking I'm going to stick with uh, the Great Magic Wand. 
Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and backtrack now to right before where I used the flame gem. Okay, so we're going to go to the lower right this time. And we're in another chain area, but this time we're going to drop right from the beginning. And of course, there is a uh, rig chest. And what would a rig chest be without a golden egg, you know? But you didn't see that one coming. Anyway, this should make our uh, fifth flame jewel, I think. And there's actually a uh, Bloodbane ripoff. Now I think I'll go ahead and I'll show the fight just because it's a little tougher, although it really isn't any different than the fight you've seen before, but eh, why not? Of course, uh, I'm running a little short on time, so you'll have to wait until the next video. So yeah, uh, next time we'll face the Dragon Tyrant and we'll continue with our exploration on the Seraphic Gate. Anyway, this is Crime and Partner. Thanks for watching. See you next, Crime.